signs that each of the 16 personalities <laughs> They're not into you. <laughs> Welcome back to the coffee corner. Spelled with a K, because we have fun on this channel. And that's right, today we have a second camera because I'm trying to make editor Kevin's job as unpleasant as possible. But seriously, folks, sometimes there might be someone that you're interested in and you're not sure, do they like me back? So listen in for all of these signs because they could apply to anyone, but for each particular type, I think this is the one sign that it's like, if you see that, it's final. They're not into you. ESTJs, if they're not into you, well, <laughs> they're probably the type most likely to just say, I'm not into you. But that's not really a sign now, is it? That's just them saying, I don't like you. So a sign that an ESTJ doesn't like you, they're not into you, is that they don't offer to help you with something. ESTJs just love to get into other people's business because to them, it's not meddling. To them, it is, I'm helping you achieve what you're trying to do. I'm helping you check your to-do list off. ISTJs, basically for an ISTJ, if the communication is all about work or if it's all about accomplishing something or if it's all about some kind of exterior thing, it's not really about you, it's not really about them, they're not into you. At that point, they're really just communicating with you because <laughs> they just need to bounce an idea off someone and you happen to be there. Because if an ISTJ were into you, they would be like really focused in on you and want to talk to you about all kinds of stuff, not just some random task they got to do. So sorry, when your neighbor comes over and says, can you help me change the oil on my chainsaw? They're, they're not into you. If an ESTP isn't into to you, they won't open up to you at all. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Frank, ESTPs don't really seem like the kind of type to open up to you. But here's the thing. Here's my logic when it comes to this is that ESTPs like to talk about themselves. They like to brag. I mean, look, everyone likes to talk about themselves to a degree, but ESTPs, they're just like, look at how great I am. Look at all this stuff I did. Isn't that cool? And if they like you, they're going to try to show off by talking about themselves and all the cool stuff that they did. But also, if if they like you, they're gonna use that as an opportunity to kind to kind of open up. A little bit. Now it's not the opening up that you know maybe an INFP would do where they're just like bearing their soul to you. ESTPs are very calculated. They're they're cool and calculated and they know like they're very smart. They, they've got this uh, baby INFJ in their brain that's like hey I can make this person like me more if I just say something about me that sounds like I'm opening up. So here I am talking about all the cool stuff I did and maybe I'll just say some kind of like oh it made me feel like this and now they like me more. But that's it's only if they're into you. And this video is about if they're not into you. ISTPs, if they are not into you, they'll suddenly have a lot of conflicts. They'll have a lot of reasons why they can't hang out with you or be at wherever you're gonna be. The thing about ISTPs is that they're pretty good at going with the flow. So if they were really into you, if they liked you, they would drop whatever. They, they, they don't have a strict plan they're going by. Sure, they are like hermits in a sense where they like to stay at home and not be bothered, but they're also the kind of people who can just jump into whatever activity. They don't mind rearranging their schedule. So uh, <laughs> if you're trying to make plans with them and they're like, nah, you know, I got so much stuff in my schedule. I can't move it around. I got, I got a manicure, mani-pedi. I got, <laughs> that's not a good sign. ESFPs, if they ain't into you, you're going to have to reach out to them anytime you want to establish contact. They are not going to reach out to you first. If they like you, they're going to make sure their presence is known. Even if it's not saying much, even if it's not starting much of a conversation, because ESFPs, conversation isn't always their strong suit, but they will they will make an effort. They will say, hey, I'm here. They'll, they'll do something to say, hey, look at me. Spotlight on me. So if you have to constantly reach out to them, it's not a good sign with anyone, really. <laughs> you know, there are types where it's like, even if they really like like you, they won't contact you. ESFPs, not one of those types. ISFPs, this one is brutal. If they're not into you, it, it, you will feel as though you don't exist to them. It's not just like they won't talk to you, it's like they won't look in your direction. They will look through you, perhaps. You'll be in a group with them, like a small group, and it's like, did they realize I was here? Did I put on my invisibility cloak that only works for Jimmy or whoever the ISFP is in this scenario? I 
ISFPs have a hard time faking it. This particular scenario is especially true if they are getting the sense that you like them and they don't want that to go anywhere. They can't fake it and they're gonna be like shutting off everything. If they liked you, they would put themselves in opportunities where they appeared open for you at least to start talking to them. But ISFPs, when they're not into you, will avoid any possibility of you talking to them. ESFJs, if they are not into you, they're not gonna laugh <laughs> at anything you say. ESFJs like to laugh, everyone likes to laugh. FJ types though will laugh even when something isn't funny because it's like, hey, we're just trying to do what's socially appropriate. ESFJs especially will be the ones to like, hey, yay, we're having fun, you're telling jokes, oh, haha, that's so silly, it's crazy. Dude, you are like so funny, even if they're not very funny. So if you're telling jokes around an ESFJ and they ain't laughing, they have probably picked up on, oh man, this person likes me and and I don't want to give them any signals that I like them. So I am not laughing. I don't care if they told the funniest joke ever. I don't care if they are. I'm trying to think of a comedian. I can't. <laughs> ISFJs, if they're not into you, they're going to do something very uncharacteristic. They're going to bail on plans at the last second. And this is a big sign because ISFJs tend to not bail on stuff even if they really don't want to go. They won't just bail for no reason, but they'll look for someone else who they could help. They're like, oh, sorry, I can't hang out with you because my, my grandma needs me to clean her garage. <laughs> Reprioritizing, that's what it is. They're taking the hanging out with you and they're like, actually, that's a lower priority than me doing this other thing, helping this other person, whatever. It's a sign that they're not into you. ENTJs, if they're not into you, guess what? They're not gonna ask you any questions. ENTJs ask questions all the time. All the EJ types, really will ask a lot of questions. They might not even care about the answer. They just like asking questions. And if they like you, they'll find a way to ask a bunch of questions. They might not even be very good questions. It's just like pointless. Why, did, why are you asking me this? But that's one of their favorite ways to communicate. So if you've got an ENTJ around you and they're not asking you anything, that's a bad sign. That means they're purposefully trying to avoid interacting with you. And they will ask questions of people who they don't even really like. ENFJs, if they're not into you, they're not going to be matching your energy. And this goes for in person or in text. ENFJs especially, they mirror without even realizing it all the time. And ENFJs tend to match your energy and then double it. So if you go up to an, an ENFJ and you're like, yeah, hey, so good to see you. And they're like, oh yeah. Hi, not a good sign. But Frank, you might be saying in your video about how signs that the types are into you that you said that ENFJs will act super cool and like they don't care about you. Here's the difference is that when an ENFJ is into you and they're playing it cool, they're still gonna find a way to continue to be around you and somehow keep that interaction going. If they don't like you, if they're not into you, they're trying to kill the energy as fast as possible. ENTPs, it's kind of a similar thing, but what you're looking for is brevity. So with the ENFJ, you're looking at the energy and the emotion. With the ENTP, you're looking for like the amount of information that they are putting out there. ENTPs, if you didn't know, they like to talk about ideas. They like to get into deep discussions about things. It gets to the point where a lot of times in conversations with the ENTPs, I'm like, can I go home now? Like, <laughs> this has been going on for a while. Then they're like, Frank, you are home and I am a figment of your imagination. Frank, this video just went off the rails. <laughs> ENTPs can't help but want to elaborate on things. They can't help but want to dig deeper into things that you're talking about. So when they're not into you, they don't care. They're not trying. They're just like, okay, cool. I gotta go do something, goodbye. So watch out for the brevity. If, if an ENTP is ever like succinct, not, <laughs> not a good sign for your chances with them romantically. In ENFP, here's an interesting one. And this one could apply like at any point, even when you're two, three, four dates in. For an ENFP who is not into you, the way they feel about you will change constantly. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, Frank, aren't ENFPs just kind of naturally all over the place? Yes, but not with their feelings. ENFPs, yeah, they like to experiment. They like to do different things. They like to be spontaneous. But when it comes to relationships, when it comes to how they feel about things, that's not a quick moving 
ship, all right? That takes a while to actually turn around. Like what an ENFP is into you, they might be like doing a bunch of crazy stuff on the surface, but you'll know like from day to day, they feel the same way about you. Or if they hate you, <laughs> they will hate you consistently. INTPs, here's an interesting one. If they're not into you, they will not respond to your texts. Now with INTPs, they don't respond to a lot of people's texts. But if they like you, they for sure are gonna respond for shizzle. It might not be immediately. I think sometimes INTPs like freak themselves out and they overthink, but they will eventually ping you back if they are into you. Especially if you're kind of making it obvious that you're into them and they don't respond and you've got to kind of like track them down in person and be like, hey, why'd you never respond to my text? You don't really need to ask because I'm here to tell you they're not into you. So yeah, INTPs, they, they are absent-minded, but I think they are much more likely to respond to you at some point if into you and I think there are other types like I don't know <laughs> I think for instance like an ESTP is likely to kind of just forget to respond to you even maybe an INTJ could just somehow like oh I like didn't see the message speaking of INTJs a sign that they're not into you is that they're like distracted a lot they're, especially if they're on their phone a lot you're hanging out with them you're around them and they're just like not talking to you and they're instead focused here it's clear that they got bigger fish to fry and it's frying here on <laughs> on the phone obviously you know it's not a good sign if anyone of any type is looking at their phone when they're with you but there are some types that just like do a lot of stuff at the same time. Like if you're with an ESFP and they really like you, they still might be on their phone a lot, but they'll be able to manage it. They're good at going from one thing to the next and being like, okay, done with that. I'm looking back at you. Okay, the phone. Uh. But with an INTJ, it's hard to switch from one thing to the next. They're either here or they're there. They can't go back and forth. If they're looking at their phone, they don't, they don't even want to mess with you. <laughs> that sounded really mean. <laughs> but that's what we're like in the coffee corner. You can tell we're mean because we spell it with two Ks. Because we're going to K-O and you suckers up in here. <laughs> Similarly, with an INFP, the sign that they're not into you is that they're not listening. Now, this is even without the phone in the hand thing. INFPs are really good listeners. So if you're a conversation with them they're looking at you they seem engaged but they're like not retaining anything like we talk to them later they were pretending like they were listening but they weren't this is especially notable for INFPs because they tend not to fake stuff like this very much INFJs yes INFJs fake listening all the time INFPs feel a bit more of a responsibility to really get into the depths of everything that you're saying like they can make a real connection with you like a real authentic connection but if they're not into you obviously they don't care about that and some INFPs will be rude enough to just not even pretend to listen but I think a lot of them will be nice enough to be like okay yeah I'll listen INFJs if an INFJ is not into you here's what's going to happen they are going to be very deliberate about never talking about the future in any way that involves you infjs are very aware about the impact that words have on other people they can look ahead and be like if i say this sentence this person is going to react emotionally this way and think it means this other thing and that means this other thing will happen the infj knows that's going to give the impression that i am into this person and that i want Want to be with them in the future. Now, of course, there are some situations where you can't avoid talking about the future, but if you're paying attention and you're like, this INFJ is weirdly not even using like the future tense in his sentences, not a good sign, player. In a way, they're doing it because they don't want to be disrespectful. They don't want to lead you on, but they also don't want to just come right out and say it. They're hoping that maybe you will just get tired and leave. That's why it's important to be aware of that sign, as well as the 15 others on this list. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay cool and attractive.